Hey, what's up guys? Alec here from Cichlid Bros. I am currently headed home real quick from work because I just had a new fish shipment arrive from FedEx overnight from Beantown Aquatics. This is a special new fish because it is the biggest fish I have ever owned and it should be right off the bat the most colorful fish in my show tank. So in today's video, we're gonna unbox that, put them in the quarantine tank, and also uh, show you another new fish that I recently got. This is one of my dream fish, one of my favorite predator haps. It's huge. It's already been quarantined and put into the show tank, and we'll show you that. As always, hit that like button and subscribe. Let's dive right in. All right, I have arrived at home, filming myself. The neighbors probably think I'm crazy, but here it is. Definitely the biggest box. Oh, what's in the box? A fish has ever come in. So let's hope that means the fish is as huge as they say it is. Sometimes they say huge. All right, here we go. We got this thing downstairs in the basement fish room. We got the quarantine tank already set up and waiting to go. I had just got done quarantining a fish and put it in the show tank to get this thing open and get them floating. So like I said, it's from Beantown Aquatics. Great site, I've never ordered there from there before, but I really like their site and their selection. So I've just kind of been waiting for the right fish to come by their, their page for me to order. And it finally did, so here we go. Big old bag, very interesting. All right, I got him out of the double bag. Can't see him yet, so let's get him floating so you can see him. All right, so he's been floating for about 30 minutes. He should be good and acclimated to the water temperature. Now it's time to cut open the bag, put it in the tank. That didn't go so well but fortunately it all worked out the fish is healthy it looks great it did come as advertised very colored up after our little incident i put a heavy box of aquarium salt a heavy book and the lid of the box that he came on as a little makeshift lid at first i thought that i would be able to keep the water level down to about right here and that would be plenty enough of a barrier for him to not be able to jump out. But these guys obviously have some crazy jumping power and speed. Lesson learned, anyone out there, be careful with a big scared hap. The fish that I got is a tangerine tiger. It is a big common hap. Dear God, it's beautiful. Uh, to go along with my predator haps and it should work out really well in my predator hap tank everybody meet tiger expect anything different i just love the design on these guys with obviously the tiger stripes with the yellow body and the big blue face i'm probably gonna freak him out he does not like people getting too close to the tank he's been a nervous nelly ever since i got him that's why I want to take my time and be as cautious as possible with him. So this guy will remain in quarantine for probably another couple weeks just to make sure he's good and healthy and eating. And what I've noticed is with these bigger cichlids being shipped, you know, overnight, FedEx, UPS, things like that, it seems to be harder on the bigger fish. These last two have definitely seem to have taken it harder than all my other fish shipments that I've had before. So I really want to take my time on these guys in the quarantine process. 
So now for new fish number two. I got myself a Bucochromis Rhodesii yellow, six inches from the cichlid shack. Already got some nice color to him. He is the biggest fish in the show tank currently until the tangerine tiger comes in. But this is probably my second favorite hat, maybe third, behind uh, the Malawi hawk and his cousin right here, the Bucochromis Nortania. Some might say that the Bucucromus Rhodesii yellow is going to get too big for a 125 gallon, but I talked with my buddy Adam C. You YouTubers probably know Adam. He told me about how he had a breeding group of Rhodesii yellow in a 125 just like this, and he did really well in it, so I decided to give it a try. But when the Nototania and the Rhodesii yellow both get their full color they will be absolute stunners even though the Rhodesia yellow gets absolutely massive I always call it massive I just knew that I had to have him as soon as I saw him on the cichlid shack website he's doing great he's settling in nicely eating well so hopefully adding new fish the size that I am is going to ease the transition and not upset the hierarchy that's already been established too much. Another good way to add new fish to an established aggressive big cichlid tank like this is to add the fish in groups to hopefully take some of the focus off a singular fish. Luckily Beantown Aquatics and the Cichlid Shack had a great selection size and type of fish that I needed so I can quarantine them one at a time since my quarantine tank is only 10 gallons. I don't like to quarantine more than one big fish in there at a time. So all in all, I am extremely pleased with my experience with both Beantown Aquatics and the Cichlid Shack. I would recommend both to anybody going forward. And as far as my tank and the stocking, that will continue to evolve and possibly add new fish. I have a few on my mind that I'm debating on getting uh, right now, and I will keep you posted. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next week.